as we continue our journey through John chapter 11. Today we're going to look at verses 17 through 27. And this is where Jesus actually speaks the I am saying that we're talking about. In verse 25, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? And that's really the question, not just for Martha, but it's the question for all of us. Do we believe this, that Jesus is the resurrection and the life? Do we believe that even though we die and the people we love will die, do we believe that we will live again? And again, the key is everyone who lives and believes in me, everyone who trusts in me, everyone who follows me, I think we can use all of those words, will never die. Do you believe this? And Martha has the faith to say, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. Uh, so she has the faith to affirm that. Um, but what's interesting also about this section and the next is that both sisters greet Jesus with the exact same words. Martha says them in verse 21. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And then in verse 32, Mary says the same thing. And this can be heard two different ways. On the one hand, this statement can be heard as a complaint, even a criticism. You know, if you had gotten here in time, if you had been here, our brother would still be alive today. And I suspect there are at least some of us who we have struggled when we've lost a loved one, someone very, very important to us, perhaps a husband, a parent, a wife, a child, a grandchild, that we think, you know, Lord, if you had really been here, my loved one would not have died and would still be here. So on one level, this sounds like a complaint or a criticism. At another level, it's actually a statement of faith and confidence and trust in Jesus, believing that Jesus has so much power and Jesus cares so much that if he was present and around and in the midst of our situation, that it would have turned out differently. So Mary and Martha maybe are feeling a little bit of both. But what a statement to say from Jesus, I am the resurrection and the life. Do you believe, do I, that new life is possible? And not just new life in terms of transformation, uh, a spiritual birth being born from above, if you will, and living as a follower of Christ in this life, but also believing that Christ and God have power even over death itself. That is perhaps one of the hardest questions in all the I am sayings that we all have to ponder and answer for ourselves. Do we believe that Jesus is the resurrection and the life and that you and those we love who die in the faith will live again? I hope your answer is yes.